There's an easier way to get fake dealership fees out of your car deal and off your car contract. We've talked about the FTC, but there's an easier pathway, friends, without a fight, and I want to make sure that you can understand it so you can enjoy car shopping again, well, even a little bit more. Yeah. It has to do with your focus and where your strategy should be, and we've had lots of viewers and channel members we've coached on how to do it successfully. We'll share that in a moment. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, we've previously taught our viewers how to use the FTC cars rule with dealers, right? Right, but not everyone wants to fight. Exactly. Not everyone has the intestinal fortitude for a long, drawn-out fight with a dealer. So we're going to share a tidbit with you, which is not only what we've been doing for a while now, but so has our man Stuart, and it has a lot to do with why he is getting the most amazing car deals in the market right now, day after day. What it takes is a very simple mind shift on how to approach fake fees. Of course, we have had viewers go successfully head-to-head -head with car dealers like Kathy and Jackie, but not everyone has that kind of stomach, so let's roll. Step number one is knowing what fake dealership fees actually are. Friends, we've talked extensively about this on several videos. Here's the recap because Sirius is a heart attack. We have people ask us daily, is this a fake fee? Fake fees from dealerships, friends, are just added expenses to you, the consumer, so the dealer can make more money on the sale without looking like you're actually paying a higher price for the car. But in fact, that's exactly what's happening. Dealer fees just artificially jack up the price of the car for no legitimate reason. Fake dealer fees include things like huge document fees, reconditioning fees, e-filing fees, and the list just goes on and on. And on and on. And on and on. After you watch this strategy video, go ahead and read about the fake fees on our blog on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, or go back and see our most popular videos covering fake fees, like the video we did a few years ago, 11 Fake Fees. Still relevant today. Yes. So, simply put, fake fees are anything else on your car contract that is taxed. That's right. Only the state required fees are tax free because, well, they are essentially a state tax already. Think about how messed up it is that you're paying taxes on dealer fees. It's a sales tax, right? So you're being sold a fee when you let a dealer get away with charging you for their fake fees. Step two in getting fake dealership fees removed is actually knowing how to ask the dealership for the price of the car. If you don't understand what an OTD, out the door price is, check out this recent video. Out the door price means how much it will cost you to drive the car off the lot. You should ask for the price in writing and if you want, use the handy out the door email templates we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com under the blog tab. Let me be clear, you ask the dealership to give you the price of the car OTD or out the door first. Wait for them to reply to you in writing. Our template asks for all taxes and fees to be itemized and included in the email. Here's why that is important. As I mentioned earlier, fake fees are always taxed. So simply think of them as just adding to the price you're paying for the car. A car selling at 30,000 before tax, title, and registration is the same price as a car for sale at 27,000, but with 3,000 in fake fees and add-ons tacked on. But it's a problem when a given car for sale at 30000 with 3000 in extra fees, bringing it to 33000 is no longer a good price. I see this a lot with our viewer members. They are so fixated on the price line on the car contract saying the lowest price that they forget to think of the total price out the door for the car. Honestly, if the price of the car at 30000 is a good price, that's a good price no matter what the details on the paper say. Step number three is determining the actual good out the door price of the car. Take the price of the car that is fair, call your own DMV, and ask them to quote you the total state sales tax, title, and license fees to get you down the road. When you have this done, it takes you right to step four. And that is, you counter offer the dealership with a total number that is a fair market price plus tax, title, and license, the fees given to you by the DMV. You don't put your energy into arguing about the price of the document fee. That's meaningless. And you don't argue about the nitrogen-filled tires, which are a hoax, by the way. When the dealer tells you that you forgot to factor in their fees, you simply say, whoa, this is my bottom line price based on a fair price with appropriate fees for the car. This is what Stuart does, and he doesn't budge. He doesn't budge. You need to be pretty determined and confident to stand your ground and make this happen like he does, friends. But your willingness to wait a while before replying to the salesman is pretty impactful make him or her sweat it out. By the way, do you know how this works? Well, he or she is responding via email to you. 
The car salesman isn't busy with another customer in the showroom. Or maybe BSing with another salesman. Which happens a lot. Right. <laughs> he or she is taking a breather to go through their history of clients to see who they can spring loose to come into the dealership by the end of the month. If they know you're standing fast on a given price, they'll keep pestering their management until they give in. There's part of the magic. Once they've agreed to your offer, step five is getting your car. You can do the same thing in the finance office. Stick to your bottom line price. Verify that all the paperwork is correct too. If the everyone pays that fee line comes up, politely reply that this figure you have in writing is your out the door price and you're gonna stick to it. By the way, the dealer finance officer is also legally required to stick to it. That's exactly right. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oops, I already let the cat out of the bag, meaning <laughs> you've been arguing about line item fees with the dealership staff, you really only have one of two choices. First, immediately shift the conversation away from, I'm not paying this or that fee, and get it back as quickly as possible to, this is the total price I'm willing to pay. Focus on the OTD. If you can't change the conversation, you'll have to start arguing with things like the Clayton Act of 1913, a law that's already in place to combat tied selling and forced fees. Always be aware that the new FTC cars rule is simply a federal clarification of all the federal laws that are already in place to protect you, the car buyer. I think this is a great place to mention some recent dirt sent to us yeah. about the Florida state government. We <laughs> routinely tell people who want to file an FTC complaint that this is a good step but also include a complaint to your own state attorney general's office. Here's what our viewer Jim sent to us from the state of Florida. BDS complaint, should say BS. Yeah. BDS complaint response from the Florida Department of Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles at flhsmv.gov. Dear Jim, please see the attached reference complaint against Miami Lakes Kia. Florida law allows dealers to sell vehicles at whatever price the market will permit. They can add extras to a vehicle if they choose. It is fully permissible under Florida law. Consumers have the right to negotiate or not purchase a vehicle due to the terms. Signed, the Florida Highway Safety and Motor Vehicles Division of Motorist Services, Bureau of Dealer Services. You know what, Kevin? I think the name says it all. Spell that out for our viewers, Liz. Signed, Florida Bureau of Dealer Services. You nailed it. Now we know why Florida turns a blind eye to the fact that they have some of the worst dealerships in the country. Thankfully, Florida friends, there are dealers like Earl Stewart Toyota and Mullinax Ford who are trying to change the tide by simply not using fake fees and unwanted add-ons. If you're in Florida, these are the dealers worth visiting first. Following these tips is so important to assure you go about removing fake fees correctly. You'll improve your odds, I guarantee it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more advice, and don't forget to always do your homework before heading to the dealership. I also want to say for all the people I consult with on car buying, the people who spend a few bucks to pick up a copy of our new book, Buy Smart and Drive Confidently, you guys are the ones who are always better prepared and more informed. Buy Smart and Drive Confidently is a great book, so don't wait to get your hands on it. I must also mention that if you're not feeling very confident in your ability to get rid of fake fees through a good OTD negotiation like we've pointed out, it's okay. You can sign up to get Liz's help via email or text from our website, thehomeworkguy.com. Those packages run $24.99 and $49.99 and are good for 30 days. And if you missed it before, you can also enlist Stuart's help. Getting direct help from us is a game changer. Stuart negotiates an out-the-door price for you and handles all the headache and nonsense you don't have to lift a finger. You won't have to actually do any of the things we suggested today because Stuart does 100% of it for you. Contact Liz and ask how you can put our amazing hassle-free car buying service to work for you or go to our website, thehomerguide.com and read up on it. Let us help you navigate the alligator infested waters of car buying. Just like in the Minions, our man Stuart produces great car deals, amazingly good trade values, and seems to just hypnotize the bad guys in the car dealership. They do what he wants, and the outcome is always amazing for you. We also offer a button on our website, thehomeworkguy.com, where you can sign up for either email or text message alerts of future new shows and new blog posts. Make sure you go do that so you never miss a future show or update. Now, if you made it this far, I have a special offer for the first five people to respond by text to me at 701-441-3399 saying, I just watched your fake fees video. 
I will give away some free 15-minute phone calls with Kevin to the first five viewers who respond by text with this message. Do it quickly, friends, because these opportunities for free help always go fast. By the way, Kevin does allow you to use the free phone call to get in touch with Stuart, and it saves you 100 bucks on the service. That's right. Thanks again to all of you out there in our audience for coming back. We greatly appreciate your loyalty. To all of our longtime subscribers, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with the amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Thanks for listening.